welcome to Algonquin 360. I'm Megan Evans. Hey guys, I'm Megan Evans and I've got everyone's favorite part of the day, entertainment. Welcome back to Algonquin 360. I'm Megan Evans with your entertainment fix. Hey, I'm Megan Evans coming to you from right outside the VIP area at Ottawa Fashion Week. I'm so excited to be here. I'm going to be talking to all of the amazing people that make this event possible. But right now, we're going to go check out what Melissa has going on backstage. I loved a lot of your pieces. What are your favorite from your collection? So I'm here with Kelsey McIntyre from Serendipity. Kelsey, that was a beautiful show. Can I ask you where you got the name Serendipity from? The name Serendipity. Wow. So what are your favorite pieces from the collection? I know it's hard to choose, yes. but if you had to pick a couple. Um, those three. Now, can you tell our viewers what the probability of our radio broadcasting and television broadcasting students getting jobs in their field after they graduate this year would be? So we're here with Jacques Menard. Jacques, how did you feel about the festival? Toronto Mayor Rob Ford has been the butt of late night talk show jokes for months, but now Jimmy Kimmel has beat them all out and welcomed Ford onto his show. You may have some negative opinions on Kanye West and Kim Kardashian, but their newest magazine cover has everyone talking. I'm Megan Evans and we're in for such an exciting game today. Algonquin is undefeated in six out of six games and Centennial has won three out of four of the games they've played so far, so it's going to be an intense matchup. I'm joined today with our basketball experts, Dean Tardioli and Alex Haslam. Now, although someone needs blood every two seconds and 38% of people are eligible to donate, only roughly 10% do. Footloose actor Kevin Bacon appeared on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and when Jimmy outlawed dancing, Kevin's entrance came to the rescue. Hey Melissa, so this week what's trending is SNL or Saturday Night Live. And now the reason that it's pulled in over one million tweets this week alone is due to two reasons. More and more people doing this every day, Algonquin College's television broadcasting and public relations students have teamed up with the Ottawa Police to put out some very moving PSAs about distracted driving. And that concludes entertainment for the week.